Bond in the top right corner. And he is the pink Zerg playing for my insanity. It is Penguin. And he's starting out with a uh, 13 pool. And here we go. Uh, his opponent playing for C play, the blue Protoss player, Bordan. Hey, Sortek. Um, uh, by the way, that wasn't a 13 pool, 14 pool, I think, uh, was the one that uh, Penguin threw down here. And the probe. Trying to block the, block the expand. Let's see if he can make it happen. Oh, yes, he is. So Penguin will have to choose. Uh, is he going to place that uh, natural down at the third location? Uh, maybe Borden can actually block that one off as well. That would be quite a nuisance. See if he actually lets this one finish. Yep, he will. Oh wow. This is gonna cost uh, Penguin quite a bit. But he is producing four Zerklings, so um, we'll nibble away at that pylon and meanwhile should be able to get started here. Yeah, finally that expansion does go down. But since we did have a Forge Fast expand for Borden, uh, he's in a pretty good spot. Um, already a little bit ahead uh, in the Expo game. His expansion almost halfway finished, and Penguin scouts us out, probably not too happy with himself right now, but really there wasn't all that much he could have done here uh, to prevent this. And now he has four Xerxes on the map, so can, um, of course, search for that probe, uh, see if he's hiding somewhere, um, deny scouting later on, deny placement of uh, any proxy pylons, and if at all possible, also um, apply a little bit of pressure but we do have that photon cannon here so i don't think there uh, is going to be too much too much aggression coming out of penguin probably just going to use those circlings to just scout out the front uh, and see like what what's happening if borden is uh, checking anything out if he's sending out any units uh, borden did uh, open up here with some early gas so he does he does have the double gas uh, three workers in gas so that's uh, that does give him a few possibilities uh, as far as uh, tech choices are concerned. Penguin also uh, getting a little bit of gas, hasn't started on his speed just yet, but um, is producing those queens. And of course, um, also try to get that third up pretty soon, uh, as soon as he got rid of that pylon. I uh, like this, really, really active with the Zerglings on the map. And here we see that tech choice uh, coming into play. Um, it is, of course, a Stargate in production right there. And not proxied, mind you, so uh, it's going to take a little bit longer for any oracles or um, phoenixes or whatever he's going to throw uh, at Penguin here to uh, come into play. But still, um, Stargate could be a solid option. With the scouting that Penguin is doing so far, um, he's in a pretty good spot, but he doesn't have that second overlord available, and this is going to hurt him quite a little bit here. Um, Usually you would send that uh, second overlord down here to just scout out the main base, but he has nothing on the left side on the map. Uh, this is pretty much like besides these two um, overlords, that's pretty much it. So usually you want to try to get that last overlord over there uh, just to be able to scout out the main. Um, he could of course try to do a run by, but um, I don't know. I, I doubt that any Zerklings would really get run by if uh, Bogdan really, really wants, wants to stop this. But there we go, speed is almost finished, um, Penguin of course throwing down a couple of geysers, one at each expand, which does make sense since uh, he has a qu quite a nice spread here with his workers. So he's in a pretty good spot. And let's see what, where he's gonna go from this. Um, Phoenixes are being produced here by Bogdan, already sent the first one over there. Um, there are a single queen at each expansion. So, so f as long as it's only one phoenix, it's not going to do all that much, but once he gets a couple out there, uh, Penguin will have to react, and he's doing that just now, um, going for spores at each of his bases, uh, which is going to be fine. I mean, uh, with those spores, he can safely defend. He does have a single queen available. Could go for maybe one or two more queens, but uh, he's also supply blocked right now, so... Um, We'll have to produce a couple more overlords and keep those safe near his bases. And he's doing just that, already rallying over. So um, some really good decision making here coming out of Penguin. Also being quite low on the uh, energy on his queen, so he's, he's playing quite well. And there is that Spire in production, also going for Hydras. Um, a little bit unorthodox, but maybe um, just a reaction to 
uh, what what Borden is playing here. I mean, with the with the choices that he's putting out, with the um, little bit of a Stargate aggression that's coming into play now, ooh, with uh, four Phoenixes already, got rid of two drones, maybe a couple more, but I think with that Spore, he's not going to try to get in uh, further than that. And we'll get rid of the Overlord, but spewing out creeps, so it's going to delay the expansion here quite a bit. And maybe uh, Penguin's aggression will come into play, but so far it looks like um, he wants to go for uh, Ling Muta, which doesn't make too much sense. I mean, scouting out so many phoenixes, you really don't want to go Muta, but he just produced 18 Zerklings, uh, which could help out a little bit here uh, in trying to deny this third, at least as long as there aren't too many yeah, too, too many Photon Cannons available, but he does have uh, five sentries with uh, almost half energy, so I doubt that Penguin can make anything happen here. But he's gonna try. Uh, he's gonna try and maybe sneak around, try to get in the main. But meanwhile, these phoenixes are still a nuisance, still waiting down there. And there we go. Um, not going for any uh, mutas just yet, but instead some hydras. And hydras are a solid option to get rid of these get rid of these phoenixes. He's getting the plus one missile attack upgrade, um, uh, the flyer attack upgrade that is, and the grooved spines. So hydras, yep, they're helping out quite a bit. First phoenix goes down. Only four more to go, but these are gonna stay at the edge here and stay quite safe for now. So let's see what Penguin is gonna do. He's still staying on uh, three bases. Uh, let's have a look at his actual uh, worker supply, 67. It's not too bad, but not really the spot where you wanna stop worker production. So uh, he either needs to make something happen now. Ooh, next Phoenix gone. Good for you, Penguin. No creep spread though. I don't really like this all that much, and this is not the best force for Penguin. Ooh, what a blunder here by Bogdan, losing another Phoenix just by flying over these Hydras. Not, not the best idea here. Bogdan finally finished the third base, and he's starting his Colossi production. Uh, hasn't started Thermal Lands just yet. And this army, I mean, right now it's still in, the, in quite a vulnerable spot. I think uh, Penguin... He will try to attack here and maybe lure this out and then come in with the 20 mutas he's just produced. So some nice decision making coming out of him, trying to get rid of the phoenixes, uh, trying to force Colossi quite soon, but phoenix production has resumed again for Bogdan. And he will try to produce as many phoenixes as he can, prono boosting these out just to get rid of the, um, get rid of the muta threat. But that threat is incoming and it's pretty massive. Look at this flock of mutas. Uh, they're gonna do some massive damage here. He's trying to warp in a couple of Photon Cannons, but will be in time. Oh, the Colossus will be focused down here, and it's melting away. Ooh, these Guardian Shields helping out quite a bit. The Phoenixes, they're splashing down. They're splashing down some good force fields there, keeping the Hydras in the back. But the Phoenixes are gone, and I think with this force, uh, Penguin can try to move into the natural. There's a Mothership Core available, and Photon Overcharge has been used. However, um, some nice uh, nice ideas here from Borden, going for more and more Stalkers. There aren't that many sentries available though, so if Penguin actually gets a couple more Zerklings out to um, work with his Mutas, that's gonna help out quite a bit, but it's not happening so far. Maybe he can stop this upgrade from coming down. But he still needs to worry about all these Stalkers and the Phoenixes that are still being popped out two at a time. So. The effectiveness of this attack is just dwindling by the minute and he needs to make something happen. But this could be his move here with the links and the Mutas at the same time. Ooh, only two force fits coming in, that's not the best. And Penguin is right on top of this army. It doesn't look good for Borden right now. But he needs more Zerklings if he really wants to make this happen. There are more and more Phoenixes coming in right now, uh, still only those three. But he's, he's still producing and he's also producing Colossi behind this. So this is not going to work out in the long run. And he did get a fourth, but just for um, larvae just now. So he will need a couple, uh, a couple more drones if he really wants to be effective with this. And of course, do some economic damage, which he's doing just now. But uh, I don't think that uh, Borden actually lost too much in these engagements. We have to check. Uh, human resources lost uh, a little bit higher for Borden but not quite as bad. Only seven workers killed on each side. So now a couple links are morphing in again. And yeah, 
He has a little bit high energy on his queen, which is, which is probably the reason why he's missing links. He should really go for a macro hatch. And another little blundle here by Borden. Losing a couple, or just one phoenix almost there. As long as Penguin can keep in on three bases and try to out-expand him, I think he's in a semi-good spot, but we, he needs a transition. Just pure Mutus, I don't think is going to work here. And he doesn't have too many links to go with this, so... Uh, as long as the Phoenix numbers are rising and they're getting the Anion Pulse upgrade as well. And that's gonna hurt Penguin quite a bit. Borden also catching up in supply. So it's getting better and better for Borden. Also following this up with a, an Immortal. I don't really know where he's going with that, but um, maybe kind of anticipating a uh, Roach switch, which doesn't make too much sense for Penguin's situation right now, but I don't know. Maybe also a misclick. He really wants some more Colossi and of course Phoenixes. Phoenix are going to help out quite a bit. But considering there are Corruptors coming into play here pretty soon and the plus two upgrade for Penguin, um, Borden also really wants to secure a fourth base whenever he can. He didn't lose too many workers, so he's still in a good spot. 71 workers, that's uh, pretty much where you want to be at. And right now he's just being pressured uh, into this uh, three base situation and really has no way to um, get on the aggressive side here against Penguin. Penguin has some really good map presence, especially there on the left side on the map, getting his fifth base established now, finally getting started with that creep. And that is a massive flock of mutas. Wow, 34 mutas uh, plus two is almost available. And Corruptors come into play now as well. See how he can make this work. There are more and more Colossi being produced and also more Phoenixes. Uh, no Phoenix um, no Phoenix air upgrades just yet. So two Phoenixes being produced at a time. First air upgrade is in production. And there are 17 Phoenixes on the map already. And there we go. Mutas are coming in and wisely going for the uh, Stargates. Good idea. Good decision making. And wow, even keeping this Corruptors on the right side. Already dealing with the Phoenixes. Uh, not the best handling of the situation so far for Borden. He does have the uh, superior range, so he could try to take these Corruptors out, no worries. But now, um, only single Phoenix being produced at the same time. So he will need his entire army on the left side. And Penguin, of course, is going to use that. Try to run around and uh, try to get an angle here on this third base. But the third base is uh, still semi-secured. I mean, he does have the gateways over here which are going to hinder any circling runbys. But uh, with the, when the meters actually get there, uh, they're going to take this out in uh, pretty much no time. This is going to melt away so quickly. There's the cannon going down, second cannon going down, and the links actually get an angle here. Yeah, I think he's going to snipe this Nexus. Yeah, no issues whatsoever. Links should try to get out of there. Nope, some good force fields actually hinder that. Really good force fields here from board and trapping those links. But he list, did lose his third base was able to um, try to establish at least this fourth base on the right-hand side. And Mutus fighting against the Phoenixes again, this time a little bit macro, better micro coming out of Borden, and even catching this, these units that are trying to um, rally with their allies here. And finally, Borden is making a move, going straight for the neck. Looks like he wants to go straight for the natural. I don't know, this doesn't look like a big RB, and once Penguin sees this and actually produces enough links to stop them while they're still in between his bases, uh, that would be quite a blow to board, and I, don't th that's, I think that's a blow he wouldn't be able to recover from. But Penguin didn't quite realize this yet. Yeah, I don't like this little overlay either. Um, it, I think it was a misclick. For some reason I also don't get sound, so I'll try to fix this before we get into the next game with TLO. And wow, this is a pretty massive army from Borden, but um, I think Penguin still has some time to react to this. Reinfestors are coming out, but they won't have the energy upgrade. So they're not going to help all that much. Especially since uh, he uh, doesn't have too many ground force. Ooh, and not re-rallying those drones. That's hurting quite a bit. Even some zealots making their way into the third. And there is the run by, uh, well, rather base race. But Borden is reacting. Sending his, uh, sending his Phoenixes back here. The third is gone one more time. The fourth was stopped as well for Penguin. But let's see who's going to finish this base race first. Only one Immortal in the mix for Borden. 
That doesn't help out all that much. And I think Penguin is in, in a little bit better spot right now. If he would try to fight this, I think he could take it out. That's not too many Stalkers. The sentries have high energy. Oh, and now we get the Archons in the mix. Uh, Archons do help out quite a bit. And let's check the numbers here. That's 33 Mutas and 23 Corruptors. Oh, he will get rid of the Archon before it morphs in. That's a costly mistake for Borden. And also gets rid of the Proxy Pylon. Let's see if he can get rid of a couple of these Phoenixes. That's really the most important part here. Getting rid of the Phoenix army. And then once the Phoenixes are gone, he can actually engage Borden's army if he wants to. He's pretty much starved right now. Um, natural minerals almost gone. Just a little bit left there. Uh, main is completely mined out, and he, he's gonna run out of minerals here pretty soon. And that's more and more phoenixes dying. I think Penguin... It, it looks okay-ish, but then again, he doesn't have too many workers left alive either. Actually, uh, Borden is the one that has a massive worker supply lead now. But it's gonna come to the main engagement. Mutas are fighting. I think most of the Corruptors um, will join the fray, but they're not gonna catch too much fire here. And Borden with some solid uh, solid uh, fire here on these mutas. I think he might be able to take him out before uh, before he can take out his army. Oh geez. Penguin uh, underestimated uh, underestimated this force here. Should have gotten those corruptors in there first, just to catch a little bit a few shots at least, and then get rid of the Phoenixes beforehand. I think Borden might be able to take turn this around now. But nine infestors are in production. I don't know what happened to the rest. Do we have any infestors on the map? Yes, three infestors hidden somewhere. Those could help out, but I don't know. Is there a spire available somewhere? That would be pretty crazy. Nope, no spires, so no great spire. No brutals are coming in, and this is still a pretty big army. Uh, army supply, uh, 74, 70 for penguin, but it's mostly in corruptors, so it's not going to help all that much. Ooh, and that's the infestors going down. This one has still a little bit of energy left, but now that uh, Borden knows, uh, there's the GG, and Borden is going to take this. So that's the first game for you. And that was the round of 256. We're gonna go into the next match, which will be Borden versus Liquid TLO. Let me just uh, fix my sound. And then we'll be right back. Okay, so whatever happened here this, to the sound? Um, All right, uh, let me fix the sound and then we'll be right back. Wait, oh. Okay, let's see if we can get the sound working this time. Okay, I had sound before. <laughs> Worked earlier, and this is the first time this has happened, so... But I did fix my StarCraft installation earlier. Might have something to do with it. Okay, come on, please get the sound working. Come on, StarCraft. Don't fail on me now. Hmm, doesn't look good. What the heck? Why don't I get any sound? Okay, what the heck could be happening here? Uh, it worked so well before. Uh, damn it. This is annoying. Mm -hmm. Mm 
You guys know a quick fix for this? I'll try to Google something, meanwhile, while we get started for the next match. I didn't know we were actually starting with a best of three from the first round on. That is pretty insane. Okay, um... What the heck happened to my sound? I don't have this sound. Okay, so it's not that. No sound. Every other person. Boring sound setting. Problem. This is not my issue, but okay, we'll have to reboot after this. But f at least we get a, a nice interface this time around, and um, actually get that score set up. Okay, all right, let's do it. Spawned on the bottom red side here on Deadwing. Our pink pr uh, prince Zerg playing for my insanity, it is Penguin. His opponent on the top right side as the blue Protoss playing for C-Play, it is Borden. And yeah, Borden had some really, really good ideas here last game. Um, I don't know, Penguin going a little overboard uh, with the um, Muta Corruptors and uh, Borden just reacted perfectly to it. He knew, okay, Penguin not throwing out too many, um, <clears throat> too many Zerklings, so he was still in an okay spot not to overproduce with the Colossi, instead opted to go for more and more Stalkers, threw a couple of Firecrons in the mix as well, and uh, in the end um, just went for the base race and won. And not something you usually see versus Mutas, but not bad. Okay, so let's see what he's going to go going to do next time. Uh, Penguin probably not going to go for the Muta Muta tactic one more time. I like the decision making in in try like the the transition he made into the Mutas by producing like fifteen Hydras beforehand and kind of getting rid of the Phoenixes, but Borden just reacted way too quickly. He got a second uh, Stargate up and just mass produced Phoenixes and just, yeah, churned them out as soon as he can. And this time looks like Penguin. Oh, yeah. Is he gonna go for three hatch before pool? Maybe, but uh, no, Borden is gonna stop this. So I think I found a fix for this. Um, nope, not, maybe I found a fix. We'll have to try to, um, we'll have to try to restart the launcher next, th for the next game. And Borden finally gets in there, uh, we'll scout everything out, we'll see, okay, pool came a little bit late, but, um, since he did start out with a Forge Fast Expand, there's not gonna be any pressure coming out of him. So maybe not uh, not the nicest thing to see, but uh, still, uh, they're in a good spot. Both of them with a pretty nice setup. Ooh, I, I'm not sure if I like this, but Penguin really wanted to get, to get that third up and established a lot sooner than last game. And gas is up already, so he's gonna have a little bit of a quicker speed. And uh, Penguin just nibbling away. He will have four, four Zerklings out pretty soon. And meanwhile, Borden, of course, getting his gateway. Penguin, let's see if he can get a, another Overlord over there. He should move this one by now. Or actually, could turn this one back. There's a little bit of a dead space over here, so he can save this one. But still, I'd like to see this Overlord just move over here. So he gets to see this base and can still also scout out this part of the base. So uh, that would be a nice move. 
Because this one, like usually you want to send two overlords in at the same time. So at least one of them will make it to those crucial spots where usually the Protoss will try to hide his tech. So I'd love to see uh, Penguin move, move an overlord over there. Ooh, he's starting off with a double Evo Chamber build. Okay, interesting. This could mean a uh, pretty, pretty strong Zirkling play, which I doubt, but he could also go for just uh, Roach Hider with some really good upgrades. And Borden going for the Stargate one more time. Of course, he did get those uh, double gases up pretty early. And there are sentries in production. So a little bit more aggression coming out of these Stargates pretty soon. Plus one, plus one has started for Penguin. And let's see what he's gonna gonna produce out of this. Could also go for um, some Baneling bus strategy. I mean, um, the plus one armor upgrade does help out quite a bit. Not to have those bursted down all too soon. And yeah, the hatcheries. I, I'd like to see a little bit of a better creep spread this time for Penguin. He did start out with the creep spread last game, but it was so incredibly late. Um, if if Borden would have actually gone for some early game aggression, um, Penguin would have been in a, in a lot of trouble, to be honest. Oh, you guys are rooting for Borden. Interesting. I like Penguin um, as a person. I've not seen him play all that much. Um, way back when, way when I started out casting years ago, ages ago, to be honest. Um, Penguin uh, did play for My Insanity, and they were playing for the, or in the, uh, in StarCraft um, Clan League, the SC2CL. And that's, I think, pretty much the only, the only time I've actually seen him play. But he did play in uh, Dreamhack uh, Stockholm. And also, uh, I think he's playing every once in a while in go for sc 2s and... Uh, Dreamhack open qualifiers and all of these jazz, uh, jazzy, good jazzy tournaments. Oh, actually missing something here. That's what you get when you don't have any sound. Millard, why do you have these sweet little uh, fev icons? <laughs> Extra skill. <laughs> oh, geez. And a couple of links out on the map now for Penguin. He's producing 18 more. Speed is gonna finish. They have plus one, plus one. But there's so many sentries available with lots of energy for Borden. I think he's in a pretty good spot to stop this onslaught. And also Void Rays, which are not the best idea. Phoenixes are neither, but... Oh, that's, that's not the best spot to be in. And those links actually engage the sentries, but a couple more force fields are being forced out. He still has a chance to do a run by. Most of these sentries don't have any energy left. And he's still producing links. Oh, Penguin pretty much going all in with this. Nope, still producing drones. Okay, going back to drone production and going for the Spire once again. Maybe if he's going for more, um, more links to, um, to go with this Mutus this time, he can actually make something happen. Ooh, getting the cancel here on the third. And ooh, closing in the sentries. This is big. This is huge. If he gets to the sentries, that would be quite a blow to Borden. But not quite getting there. Can still st uh, stay alive. Borden had some really nice control here. Just closing off this part um, and actually leaving the most, most of his army hidden behind this pylon. Some amazing control coming out of this Protoss player. But will we see another cancel here? It certainly looks like it. That's the next cancel. Some really good stalling here by Penguin. Just with a plus one, plus one. Um, how many gas does he have saved up? Ooh, not bad, but not too many minerals. So he's not going to resupply those Zerglings all too soon. And yeah, realizing that he doesn't have enough workers for his uh, four bases now. He knows I kind of need to do something. And I think Borden knows what's up. Ooh, links are closing in one more time, but a lot of sentries, a lot of force fits are still available. And those links, they just melt away against the zealots. And I think Borden has finally killed this up and has also uh, smelled what's going on. Going for five phoenixes, more iron production. And as soon as he actually sees the first muta, he's going to throw it on the second Stargate and just churn out these phoenixes like there's no tomorrow. And that's uh, what's going to happen here pretty soon. He's going to spot the first Mutas. They're coming out in any second now. Oh, and that's Penguin Supply Block one more time. But he's producing three Overlords. So we'll have to 
cope with that pretty soon. And yep, clearing this up. Clearing this up. Come on, where are the mutas? They're still hidden. I don't think I don't think Borden has seen them. Yep, he's seen them now. And Penguin not really doing anything. He's still trying to hide them, but Borden has seen them for sure. Yep, there goes that second Stargate I talked about. Also going straight for the fleet beacon. So he's not wasting any time. And those mutas, oh just melting away. Oh ah, this is not good for Penguin. Dude, you need to have some kind of reaction. And finally, he's he's doing something. He, he's going for more queens, which is good, but it's not going to help in the long run here. Queens are going to help at, how, at home, but how do you get them over there to fight against the phoenixes? And even if you do, what are you going to do about the ground army? Uh, links are not going to help too much. Uh, most of these sentries are actually still alive. He might have lost a couple, but yeah, just one sentry lost in that engagement. That's not too big. The, meanwhile, these Phoenix still harassing, still doing some solid damage. Did take out a couple of workers. Oh, actually, taken out a couple more. Not bad. These Phoenix is still active on the map, still gathering energy. And finally, Penguin uh, has decided to produce a couple of corruptors. But really, against uh, so many Phoenixes already, uh, with the Anim Pulse crystals coming in, and with uh, Borden already reacting, going for Colossi. This is not the best spot for Penguin to be in. Looks kind of similar to last game. This time he does have the, those ground upgrades, so those are going to help quite, quite a bit. And I would love to see Penguin actually go to Hive and have that threat of um, Broodlords come up. But he's taken quite a bit of damage and has not been that active with his uh, Ling Muta Force. So as long as he can keep Borden on three bases, he's still in a okayish position, but he, you really want to out macro your opponent if you're going for that Broodlord style. And finally, we see the Infestation Pit going down. He's going for the plus two upgrade as well. But double Phoenix is uh, churning out quite a massive Phoenix force so far. Already 15 out on the field against 8 Mutas and 14 Corruptors. But let's see, it does look like Penguin learned a little bit from that last game. And maybe he can make something happen here um, by just going to Hive Tech a lot sooner. But Borden is moving out, maybe just to kind of scare Penguin a little bit and uh, try to take his fourth. But he might get a nice engagement angle here. Judas and Corruptors are gathering up. Ooh, actually getting a little bit of, of the Zirkling Force. And the Phoenix is just returning back home. He's not making any moves to go for that fourth base just yet, but he has 79 probes, so he should be making a move. There's the plus two and the plus one air weapons finishing. So I think he's gonna move out here pretty soon. A couple more probes, uh, pylons are actually being, being produced there at the same time. And he's checking for any hidden expansions. Some good decision making here for Borden. There are the hallucinated phoenixes, uh, we'll see. Okay, there is a pretty, pretty massive uh, corruptor force. Not too many mutas, and this should prompt him to make some changes to his armor composition. And he will, straight away. There's the Pemper Archives. He's also uh, going for a warp prison. A little bit surprising, let's see what he's gonna do with that. And the fourth base is being taken. Plus three also in production. And Penguin trying to... Get rid of these rocks on the back back door. And has that uh, plus two flyer weapons available now. And, oh, that's interesting. He's going for the Ultralisk Cavern and going for uh, the Hive Tech Zirkling upgrade, which is always a good idea. That's usually the first one you go for, otherwise you uh, kind of forget sometimes. Oh, wow. So many phoenixes. He did stop phoenix production now, and I think that's a good idea. He has the plus one upgrade. Could go for the plus two upgrade, um, but I think the plus one is probably more worthwhile. And also going for immortals, so that's some really good decision making for Borden. I don't know if he he's checked uh, the Ultralisk Cavern. Uh, maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Oh, phoenixes? Nope, it's too many phoenixes. The Corruptors can't deal with this right now. And Penguin is going straight for the counter-attack. But these links, uh, I think they're going to melt away here, but maybe not. Maybe not, if uh, Borden is not reacting to this. 
But Penguin's only sending in half his force. Now the remainder just uh, being caught out here. And those links are just melting away in the fire of this Colossi. And a lot of sentries as well, but uh, Bottom not really watching out. And the links did a little bit of damage, but not too much. Just uh, three workers killed. These uh, Phoenixes are still running rampant in the space. And getting rid of a lot of overlords. To be honest, this doesn't look too good for Penguin, but maybe he can make something happen. 10 Ultras are in production. And uh, let's check out where that Ultralist Cavern is actually located. I have not... Oh, it's over there. So it wasn't scouted out by Borden. Nope, he's not seen it. Um, he will be caught by a little bit of surprise, but he already started Immortal production. So three Immortals are already there. Uh, he's going for a fourth one. Also throwing some DTs uh, in the mix, possibly going for Archons, but uh, I think it's going to be DTs just to complement his army and will force Penguin to be a little bit more cautious uh, with his Ultras. There are six more gateways in production, so he's making that switch, not relying on these phoenixes all too much. Uh, well, he did get rid of most of the army, and now finally realizing, okay, geez, there are so many ultras, I need to try and stop them before they get to my base. Unfortunately, he doesn't have blink, that would have helped out quite a bit. So lots of ultras, lots of links in production. And the plus three, plus three upgrades alongside uh, the uh, shitness plating. Well, the Ultras is almost finished. That could be a pretty big attack, and Penguin, he actually established a fifth base. And has a pretty solid worker supply as well. Actually, Borden uh, also with a really good worker supply. And he's making his move. He should be able to get rid of one of these bases, but uh, this is a semi-good spot here for Borden. Uh, Guardian shields are being, are being used as well. Not gonna help too much there, but as long as he keeps the mortals in the back, he can just melt away these ultras, and that's exactly what's happening here. And look at these CTs, they just get rid of the ultras so fast, and I don't think that Penguin actually noticed this. There's the Muta switch one more time, but now DT's immediately being morphed into Archons. And, uh, well, I don't know if you realize, but Archons uh, kill a Muta flock pretty fast if they ever make that mistake of stopping on top of them. And that's a lot of Archons, man. Eight Archons. Jeez. That's a sizable Archon army. And it looks like he wants to go for the finishing blow. Let's see if Penguin uh, is gonna run around the army here. But even if he does, that's still... Like, this army has to be dealt with. Otherwise, his base are just gonna melt away. And even with the amount of mutas he has, he can't really afford a base trade. Uh, Archons just kill everything so quickly, and there's still uh, DTs in the mix. Still two DTs. There's a GG, and uh, that's a 2-0 for Borden. And he's gonna face off against TLO. I'll try to get my...